Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Today we have some actually new content to go over for this week's Tuesday update. Rockstar has added eight new races into Red Dead Online and they're all hot trash. I'll see you guys next week. No, but for real, Rockstar has added some new races into the game. You know, it's new content at this point after 12 months of tranquilizing rabbits. We'll kind of take what we can get at this point. But we have triple Red Dead Online cash and XP on all races. You'll see some gameplay in the background of some of these new races. I hopped on for a bit this morning to play a few of them. From what I can see, combat is actually enabled in all these races. So unfortunately, that does mean most of the time you're going to have people more interested in killing you than they're actually interested in playing the races. The combat being enabled in races has literally been a problem since the start of Red Dead Online, so I'm really not sure why Rockstar, at this point, years later, still hasn't realized that and is still introducing races with combat in it. Because guys, this is just not that fun. Also, Rockstar, I do need to ask this one, but whose idea was it to match make players into races that are almost finished or even halfway through? Like, who thought that was a good idea? In the newswire, Rockstar said it jump into this week's featured series to play eight new races, including point to point, lap and open variants of classic races as well as target races. As an added bonus, all races this week will continue to award three times Red Dead Online cash and XP and placing in the top three will earn you an offer for 40% off any saddle. Plus completing any of the new races will also score you an offer for half off the improved bow and 20 arrows. And then for the time limited clothing and the discounts this week, Rockstar has literally just done a copy and paste from last week. I'll show you guys on screen all of the limited time clothing items are exactly the same. And then the discounts, we have race horse breeds, we have saddlebags, stirrups outfits, the bow, and then also the Evans repeater for 50% off. And that's the end of the news wire, but I do want to give a big PSA to all of you guys. This is the final week of Outlaw Pass number 5. This is the final week to even use the coupons. They're all going to be expiring at the end of May at the same time the pass ends, which is a bit unusual, but um, this is where we're at. So make sure you use all of your coupons in the next week. I ran through mine. There was a few gold bar rewards I missed. There was some treasure maps in there I need to use. So just make sure you guys head through there and use as much as you can. There's probably going to be a lot of free clothing items you've got sitting in there. I have a ton I'm probably not even going to use because I just can't use them. A lot of the content you already own, you're so you just going to have these useless vouchers you're sitting on. I wish Rockstar would have some ability to maybe even trade these in for some kind of reward just to stop them all just expiring and being absolutely useless. But yeah, just be aware on the 1st of June, every voucher is going to expire and you won't be able to use them from that point onwards. And speaking of the 1st of June, I've seen a lot of players asking if we're going to be getting this summer update DLC on the 1st of June. First of all, the 1st is not even a summer day. Summer starts, I believe, at the end of June, officially. And also, this is the last week and Rockstar still hasn't given us a release date. So the chances of the summer update happening next week are slim to none. I think, honestly, the best possible thing we could hope for next week on the 1st is just a new Outlaw Pass season. I can imagine at the very most we'd be getting some kind of short outlaw pass and perhaps just lasting a couple of months kind of similar to the halloween pass how it was only 20 ranks long just to give us a bit of filler content until the next dlc and i guess at the very least we can expect nothing just another tuesday update with some new rounds of discounts so yeah guys if you want to be kept up to date with all the latest news and updates for red dead don't forget to subscribe i'll be covering all of the breaking news so you don't want to miss out and if you did watch this video all the way to the end, please take a second to leave it a like. It really helps support my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.